So here's a typical rendering or image you can put together very quickly in Procreate. And this took, just to check the uh, canvas information slot, this video or this rendering took me about five, almost six hours. Now, maybe that's not so quick, but I've been fooling around with it probably twice as long as I needed to. But still not a bad day's work. And there's a typical thing you can see where I've created these. These are actually plywood rocks. And those plywood rocks need to be modeled with this uh, kind of a look. Um, you want to see the striations of the plywood, and then we want to see some shadow around where that uh, bright light is reflecting down on the rocks. So normally what I would do is I'd go in here and I would select, I would tap on that layer and select the whole layer. And then to keep the base layers safe, I tend to add a new layer on top of that. I would put it in multiply mode and that's going to make the next layer uh, even darker, even though it's the same color. And then I'd come in here with the, let's go to the um, soft brush maybe, and I'd pick a good size for it. And I would begin to lay in the kind of base layer of uh, uh, shade where it gets darker towards the bottom of these uh, plywood so-called rocks. And I can even put more local shadows right under things like people's heads and under this pillow. And the harder I press, the darker that becomes. So this is the advantage of multiply mode. I can put some little uh, rivulets in that rock. And over here I can sculpt. There's, a, there's one of these plywood rock tables. I'll put it in here. And that's not bad. But one of the issues is that I've got all of these so-called marching ants, like we say in Photoshop all around these rocks and I can't really carefully judge the relationship of what I'm doing to what's already there. And when you're working fast that's a big problem. So there's another way to do this, okay? And let's go back. Let's see first of all how that turned out. It's uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm pretty good at this so uh, there's no problem there. But I'm going to show you a different way where we don't have those marching ants distracting us. And I'll eliminate this layer. I'll delete that. And then I will go into, I'll stay in that original rock layer like this. And I will go over here to the adjustments menu. And this is a feature not many people get to because it, it uh, requires quite a bit of um, practice and studying to see that it's even there. So I will now tap the Hue, Saturation, and Brightness Adjustments menu, and I'm going to go over here to what is called the Pencil Mode of Hue, Saturation, and Brightness. And all of these, by the way, all of the functions in the Adjustments menu, Color Balance, Curves, Gradient, Gaussian Blur, they all have this Pencil Mode, and I'll show you this particularly useful application of it when it comes to um, hue, saturation, and brightness. So here we go. Hue, saturation, and brightness. Pencil mode activated here. I'll double check. I then pick the pencil I want, and I think for this purpose I'll use this Nikki Roll brush that I got online. It's got a great texture. I'm going to select that brush. I'll tap back out of the brush. I'm going to darken it down here. Okay, now nothing is happening on the rocks right now, but when I apply this pencil, you will see what happens. I'm going to increase the size of that Nikki roll, and I am going to start to track across this rock, and you'll see that without any masking, without adding a layer above, I've got the same accomplishment but it's happening all, it's sort of automatically masked into this layer, this existing layer. I'm not being very careful, but I'll, I'll show you, I'll, I'll add in back that shadow under the person's head and I'll make it a little darker under the pillow. And I can, you know, I don't want to waste too much time, but you get the idea. I'll come over here and I'll 
do the same with this. I'll just sort of notice that I'm starting below the rock. I'm coming up into that area. Okay. And I'll just kind of let these accidents happen too. Uh, because that's a big part of this rendering texture. So I'll let these accents happen. Now the obvious thing that comes to mind is this looks terrible because for some reason when I darken this tan color it turns into this purple. But never fear, all of these pixels that I've just affected, and I'll make the effect a little more exaggerated, all of these pixels remain active in all three of these areas at the bottom of the screen. So if I now go to Hue, watch this, this sort of violet-red color, and watch how that will change when I drag Hue across. So I can come to a point where it matches, it's the darkness, it's the darker value of that same tan color that I've been going for. I can even desaturate it, or I can extra saturate it. And what this basically does, the reason this is a power tip, is because this is saving me the whole ordeal of those marching ants. And I can see right away, immediately, how this affects the rendering. So, if you want just a fantastic power tip, next time you want to add a second layer to something, add some texture to something, don't worry about it over here in the Layers menu. Just make sure that layer is selected. Then come up to the Adjustments menu, Select the effect that you want to apply, then go to the pencil mode, and you will be delightfully surprised. Oh, by the way, uh, don't forget, I am working on an online course. I know when um, you come to the channel in YouTube and try and get the information you need, it's very difficult because YouTube's always sending up great new videos for you to look at, so there's no way to really get a coherent line through all of my videos, even though I wish you would. So go to my website if you would. I'll have the link below. And uh, sign up for information about my upcoming online course. I, I can't wait to uh, get it launched and start helping people and to provide a very coherent line through all of these lessons, beginner to advanced. And I look forward to seeing you there. And look for that sometime uh, late spring or this summer. Thanks for watching.